Steel is otherwise known as refined iron. Therefore, the first method in the manufacture of steel is in the blast furnace. There are several reactions taking place in the blast furnace. From the introduction of oxygen at the bottom to the reduction of iron ore at the top to the formation of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide gases to the formation of slag and molten iron. These are all reactions taking place in the blast furnace. Now let's take a look at the formation of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. What is the importance of having carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in the formation of steel? Now, carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. The equation for the reaction is C plus O2 to form CO2. But carbon dioxide is not the reducing agent. So there's need for the formation of carbon monoxide. Therefore, a further continuation of the reaction of carbon dioxide occurs. Since the carbon dioxide form is not a reducing agent, it reacts therefore with carbon to form carbon monoxide, which is a very good reducing agent. So CO2 combines with C to form CO. If we balance that out, we get two CO. So carbon dioxide combines with carbon to form carbon monoxide, which is, in the, which is very good in the reduction of iron ore to iron. The iron ore therefore combines with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. Iron ore is a metite combining with carbon monoxide. This forms iron and carbon dioxide gas. Now let's balance this equation out. Two moles for iron air, so let's bring in two for iron. Oxygen is three and one, four, three, carbon, three. So carbon is three, oxygen six, six. This is a balanced equation. This equation gives us the formation of iron from iron ore using carbon monoxide. Sometimes iron ore can also react directly with carbon to form iron and carbon dioxide. So iron ore, Fe2O3, can also react with carbon to form iron and carbon dioxide. So in the first equation, iron ore combined with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. But also, the iron ore can combine with carbon to form iron and carbon dioxide. Now let's balance this equation out. Um, bring in two to make iron four. And um, three on carbon, three on carbon to make oxygen six and six. So this is the balanced equation. Iron ore combining with carbon to form iron and carbon dioxide. Now, the limestone added, calcium carbonate added in the blast furnace is decomposed to form carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. So limestone, which is calcium carbonate, is decomposed using heat energy to form carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. This is needed to eliminate impurities in the iron ore. Iron ore is dug from underground, so it contains a lot of sand particles. Sand is silicon dioxide. It is combined with calcium oxide to form slag, which is calcium silicate. Calcium silicate is the slag formed in the manufacture of iron from iron ore. It is less dense than molten iron, less dense than molten iron, and so can be tapped off or can be decanted off at the top of the molten iron. So, how is iron refined to make steel? There are several processes involved. Today, we're looking at the basic oxygen process. 
This is a process in which oxygen is blown in directly at the top of the molten iron to form steel. The impurities present in iron gotten from the blast furnace include sulfur, phosphorus, and silicon. These impurities should be removed to make steel. In the basic oxygen process, oxygen at very high temperatures is blown vertically downwards across the surface of the molten iron. It reacts with sulfur to form sulfur dioxide, and this is tapped up. Oxygen gas at very high speeds and temperature, combining with sulfur, it forms sulfur dioxide gas, which is removed from the molten iron. Again, calcium carbonate is added. At high temperatures, it's broken down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Calcium carbonate is CaCO3, broken down by heat to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Phosphorus, an impurity, combines with oxygen at very high temperatures to form phosphorus oxide. Phosphorus combining with oxygen gas to form phosphorus oxide. Phosphorus combining with oxygen here to form phosphorus oxide. If we balance this out, we get four for P and five O2. Phosphorus oxides uh, should also be removed from this process. Therefore, calcium oxide from decomposition of calcium carbonate is reacted with phosphorus oxide to form uh, uh, calcium phosphate. Phosphorus oxide combines with calcium oxide to form calcium phosphate. This out. We we'll get six for calcium and two. This is balanced. Six calcium atoms, six calcium atoms, PO4, PO4 into bracket two. That is balanced. The other impurity, silicon, also combines with oxygen to form silicon oxide. Silicon, SI, plus oxygen gas, O2, it forms silicon oxide. Silicon is the other impurity present in this process. The silicon oxide formed therefore reacts with calcium oxide from decomposing limestone to form slag. So silicon oxide, SiO2, reacts with calcium oxide, CaO, to form slag, which is calcium silicate. This is lightweight when compared with the iron ore, therefore, when compared with molten iron. So it can be decanted off and removed from the process, therefore producing a purer form of iron. The basic oxygen process is a refined version of the Bessemer process. High speed jet of oxygen is blown vertically down on the molten pig iron. This oxygen removes impurities also the converter is lined on the inner side with calcium and magnesium oxides. Calcium oxide, magnesium oxide helps to remove other impurities formed in this process.